morning to our viewers. Uh, it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you. Uh, okay, regarding whether obesity is a disease, uh, this depends on who you are talking to. If you are talking to people who are managing obesity, it's obviously uh, we will agree that it is a disease. But if you are talking to a skeptic, most likely they will look at obesity as a lifestyle choice. Societies or organizations which recognize obesity as a disease. Okay, so uh, the, the top among whom uh, is uh, the World Health Organization, uh, World Obesity Federation, the Canadian Medical Association, uh, and the American Medical Association. Because these are very uh, uh, big so organizations which are at the forefront of uh, uh, health care. So these societies recognize obesity as a disease. Now, uh, if, if you talk to many uh, healthcare workers, uh, doctors, physicians, uh, endocrinologists, uh, depending on their level of understanding of the problem, many will look at it as a disease and some will look at it as a lifestyle choice. That means the patient has a choice to become obese or stay slim. So, uh, in answer to your question, I, I agree and WHO agrees with me that obesity is a disease. But, uh, the Malaysian government, if you notice, uh, is not there in that list which recognizes obesity as a disease. The Malaysian government, namely the Ministry of Health uh, Malaysia, does not recognize obesity as a disease. It understands that it is a disease but they are not in a situation to recognize it because of uh, the, 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 the focus is on battling uh, cancers, uh, trauma and uh, other uh, morbid diseases like diabetes, hypertension, heart diseases, diseases, stroke and so on. So the, the focus is not on battling uh, obesity which probably is one of the underlying causes of all these comorbidities. It makes a big difference. If uh, obesity is recognized as a disease by the country, uh, patients immediately can demand treatment for their obesity uh, in uh, healthcare facilities around the country. But if it is not recognized, patients, uh, people cannot go to a hospital and say, I'm obese, please treat me. Of course, uh, there are uh, individual hospitals uh, in uh, different parts of Malaysia which are man uh, which are managing obesity and obesity related uh, illnesses so that's the big difference why Malaysian government doesn't recognize this if they do recognize then uh, there will be a big uh, uh, queue going up to government hospitals and uh, and the healthcare system uh, cannot cope so that possibly is one of the reasons. The uh, science behind obesity is very complex. Uh, it's, no, it's just not purely the simple uh, analogy that people uh, seem to believe whereby if you eat more and you exercise less, you will become obese. The whole concept is because there is an imbalance, basically an energy imbalance between the calories that one consumes and the calories that one expends. So this results in a mismatch. But this only is only part of the story. There are other multiple factors that has to be taken into consideration as well. Uh, one is our genetic factors. We are all built differently. There are certain uh, parts of our uh, physiology and our lifestyle and so on that interacts with the environment that we live in and results in a cascading effect that changes the way we react to our body reacts to the current situation we are in. That's why we call it that we are in an obesogenic environment where there's abundance of food, uh, high 
caloric food that is available, processed food, and our meal times are so irregular these days because of our pursuit of uh, you know for wealth, uh, you know going uh, forward in life, achieving our goals, uh, work, and so on. There are other social factors as well that has to be taken into consideration. Uh, the type of food that we take nowadays is different. Uh, we tend to have a lot of stress uh, related to the work that we are in. And of course, uh, the environment as well, like I mentioned before, doesn't help because we do not have infrastructures available for us to be able to exercise as and when we like. The weather where we are in, in Malaysia, is uh, being a tropical country, a lot of sunlight. Uh, a lot of us uh, you know, do not look to exercise during the afternoons or early evenings. So the time frame that we have is only either in the early mornings or the late evenings. So these are all uh, conditions that make it quite difficult for us to live by the dictum of exercising uh, regularly and every day.